Hello everybody! Different setting than the usual introduction for my YouTube vlogs. Um, me and Callie are at the beach currently. Uh, we have been re working really hard behind the scenes towards the little goal that we have. If you like, have followed me for a while, this time last year I did my first like uh, pleasure ride, like an endurance ride of 20 miles and um, it was one of the best things I ever did and this year I actually have registered myself and Callie onto the Eldra, so Ireland's Long Distance Riding Association and um, yeah so for the last few months we've been working our socks off, getting fit, Callie's been exercising, I've been exercising, I want to get myself as fit as her. I don't think I'll ever be as fit as her. She is unbelievably fit at the moment to the point it's actually a little bit scary how far, you know, once they get their endurance up, how far they are willing to go. So this is me coming to use at like the very end of my training for this ride, my rides in a week's time. And um, like I said, I've been practicing for the last few months. Um, this is my last real long ride. Me and Callie have been walking and trotting the beach. Um, probably last time I checked it was 15 kilometers. So my ride is 20 miles, so it's 32 kilometers. Um, and we've been doing trotting and cantering the whole time. Now I'm just cooling her off through the water. But I have such a, a list, like the length of my arm, of all the things that I have been doing to prepare me and Callie for this ride. I just want to talk about all the different types of things, but I need to write them down so we can talk about them all. Um, and I am so excited. It's me and Callie again, going solo. Um, like, I would love an endurance friend. Anybody out there wants to compete at endurance, like, me and Callie would love a friend. I haven't had Peggy today training with me. But um, yeah, so hopefully when we get back home, uh, maybe tomorrow, I can tell you all about it. And uh, fingers crossed for our ride next week. Hi guys, so I'm literally back home. Um, and I thought I would just sit down in my conservatory and like take it as like a little bit of a podcast of me just like talking because it's not going to be overly visual like I have a few little video clips that I can put in but I just really sort of wanted to like sit down and just talk to you all about it because like I have so much like stuff that I just want to talk about I wrote a little list so I am doing my endurance ride with Ildra like I said, a little clip at the start of me at the beach. So it's the Irish Long Distance Riding Association and they do different levels. So you have like your bronze, your silver and your gold. So me and Callie are actually registered and we are working towards getting our bronze. So we have to do a 20 mile ride and a 25 mile ride to get our bronze. So at St. Patrick's Coastal Ride, we can do the 20 mile ride. Um, we did this ride last year just as like a pleasure ride and this year we're going to do it more competitively and we need to be back in a certain time and we need to be able to pass the vetting. Um, so I actually did a video on my pleasure ride last year if you want to watch that it was a really 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 good vlog I loved it I actually want to watch it again just to remind myself of what it was like before I go um, but yeah all being well um, me and Callie have been working really hard, getting ourselves fit enough to do this. Um, the whole idea of it is that you go, you get vetted, you need your horse's heart rate under 60 beats per minute. Uh, you get vetted, the horse gets trotted up, you get the heart rate taken and then you go out for your ride. Now this ride is over like beaches, forests, farmyards. It is actually so beautiful, it's unreal. And then we have to be going at the pace of like six to eight miles per hour. So we've got to be shifting. Like we have to be trotting pretty much the whole thing, cantering when we can and then walking when we have to because of the train. Um, so we got to get our skates on pretty much and be back, get back over the finish line. Last year I went the wrong way so many times. I need to be more vigilant. I need to use my map better. I need better map skills. Um, 
and I'm hoping that I'll get back within the three and a half hours I think I need to be back for. Um, so yeah, get back. You have half an hour to cool your horse off. So I've been collecting my milk bottles. They're actually just sitting over there. I'll show you. <laughs> so I've been collecting my milk bottles. So you have half an hour literally to cool your horse down. Um, so you have to walk them off, throw water over them. They'll all be filled with water. Um, and get a bit of liquid in them, get some fluids. Uh, they have to have their heart rate under 64 beats per minute. So it needs to be nearly the same as what they set out with, you know, it needs to be under a certain level. Um, so they have to be fit enough that their heart rate will drop down for them uh, once they start them to rest and recover after the ride. But you need to time it right because you don't want to you don't want to let them rest too much. You have to keep them walking so that they don't get stiff and seize up for the trot up and down for the vetting at the end. So fingers crossed we can be back in time and we can pass the vetting both before and after. Um, and yeah, so that that's the whole plan. Um, we have been doing so much. Like this time last year, me and Callie were at Hagen's Croft Equestrian and we had the arenas, we had the walker, we had a, a lunch pen. I don't know, just like your average size lunch pen. I don't know what the size of it is, but just like the length of your lunch rope. Um, and this year, me and mum are at a little yard where mum has a horse called Oreo, if you are new here, and we are stable, just a little private home where he lives. Um, so we don't have an arena or anything. We just have the fields and the roads to hack on. Um, so it's been a big change, but um, it's actually been really, really good. Like I have coped and managed really, really well with getting Callie ready for this ride. This the field, being able to use the field has been amazing. Um, I do live in Northern Ireland. Um, if you didn't know, I'm from Northern Ireland and we don't have very many like bridleways or anything over here. It's all just main roads, like your I mean like your like your country roads there's you're on the road with the traffic and like the traffic over here oh, they don't really respect horses some people do but some people don't and that just takes one person to catch you out so the roads are quite dangerous for horse and ri horse and riders over here in Ireland Northern Ireland you know um it's not ideal we don't have bridle paths like England like these are so lucky so we have been doing lots of work on the road but like walking work so I could be out for like hours at a time just walking because I don't want to do too much road work because I want to protect her you know her limbs Um, she is very fit it helps with shock absorption so um and I have a uh, little easy boots on her as well her easy boot gloves soft so I've done a video on those before if you'd like to see it oh here comes Robert sorry I'm just complaining because Robert said he was going to be 10 minutes and I thought I'd have enough time to do this vlog in peace, but clearly not. So, um, where was I? Yes, yeah, so I was talking about road work. So, um, cause I just have the field and the roads. I've been doing loads of my like walk and work on the roads. I could be out like hours at a time because I don't want to do too much trotting to protect her limbs. But the field has actually been amazing because I have been able to do loads of work like on the saddle like when I'm out hacking and stuff and then when I'm in the field I can do loads of work when Callie's like on the lunge so I've been able to like lunge her and do traveling circles so she's not on like a tight circle all the time traveling circles the field has like loads of hills and lumps and bumps in it up hills down hills really steep hills and I've been able to like walk her up the hills uh do hill sprints up the hills um all on the lunge and I've been able to do like loads of pulls set up loads of different exercises um even like when the field gets a little bit long like the grass like do you know like if you haven't strummed your dockings or uh they've paid and pooed on the grass and the grass has grown long then I've used that to like walk and trot her through because she has to like lift her legs like it's harder work for her so she's like sort of like the same if you're to ride a horse through water like it's harder work so I put her through the long grass Anyway, so we've literally been using it like the best we can and um, it's nice because I don't want to be like on her back all the time. I want her to be able to get fit without the weight of me on her back before like I added the weight of myself onto her back. 
Um, another thing as well, like. I don't want to train her that every time that I get on her and we go into a field we're like doing hill sprints <laughs> just in case like she starts going a little bit feral um because when they start to get fit it's actually really difficult to sort of like keep them mentally sort of like they're so so fit they just want to get going they've so much energy to burn um, and you need to keep their like mind um, nice and calm and occupied and like mindful of their body not to be like coming out and be going all guns blazing you want to be able to control their energy sort of like keep a cap on them and um, have them sort of under control and so that you can use their energy for like a long period of time it's not like they're just coming out and they're gonna go hell for leather and like waste all their energy because you need to maintain it for the endurance ride I suppose that's the whole like the whole idea of it so it's been a big change but I actually think it's been wonderful and like I suppose last year if I had Callie on the walker I literally would have been like right I'm gonna go get a cup of tea now or like I'll do my hay nets or I'll knock out when she's on the walker before I ride or after I ride but really like this time I if Callie's exercising I'm exercising too like if she's lunging in the field I'm walking around with her as well um, so like I think I'll be a lot fitter for this ride than I was like this time last year. Um, I think I am. I think we both are. I think we're ready. Like it's obviously a learning experience and fingers crossed that I've done enough. Um, that I definitely think that we're ready, you know, ready for it. So like I've been trying to do wee bit of keep fit, you know, not an awful lot, but just like um, enough that I can fit into like my everyday life because my job and stuff is, is physical and I do ride out horses during the week and um, not just Callie I ride out um Siobhan's horses and um yeah so an app that has been really really good for us we have been using an app called Equilab and it like tracks your distance and how long you've been out and you can see it on the satellite on maps and you can like plan a route and stuff that you want to go around so that has been amazing because it's nice to, it's nice to know how far you're going and um, like at the beach there um i could see that i had done 16 kilometers um and that's nice because it's just nice to know what type of the ground you're covering so it can be really deceiving you know when you're out if you're doing enough and um so it has been really really good and i also think you know because i don't have like the arena just at home i went out of my way so much to like do at least like one thing each week with Callie, like take her somewhere so for the first two weeks like so let's say track back two months i had Callie at just like a hacking fitness like me and mum just pleasure riding um and then the first two weeks I was like taking Callie to Hagen's Croft to do the Mark Robinson pole clinic. I have wee clips of that that I can put in. So it was really, really good to get her started with her fitness and her core and get her using herself right, uh, working on her top line. And then maybe the next week we went to the gallops. So we did some like interval training and it gave me the chance to actually do some trot and canter work for over like a long distance because I haven't been able to do that on the road. You can only do so much in the fields. Um, it's nice to take her somewhere else where she can just trot and canter for, you know, a long time. Um, and then the next week, then we maybe went to the beach and the beach is good because that is the type of terrain that I'm going to be riding on um because when you go to the beach the horse needs to get used to the different types of sand the seaweed um the water um how the water ripples along the the sand um and going over maybe rocks and stuff or if there's streams coming through the sand sometimes Callie thinks there are ditches and she doesn't like ditches and um you know she's like oh I don't want to do it but if I was to get off her and like lead her through it I can um and then just jump back on again good thing she's not too big because I remember last year there was two bridges in it and she was like oh no 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 I don't want to do that and I was like oh we have to do this because we're like 15 miles away from home we're, we're so far away from home you have to go over this bridge if you like it or not and I think I just like kept her on and got her over the bridge but I think this year, like looking back on it, 
I think I would rather just jump off, later over it, and then jump back on again. Like, that's if my legs allow me, because it's, it's like three quarters of the way into the ride, I think the bridges are, like my legs could be knackered, what if I got off and I couldn't get back on again? But, um, so yeah, I, between my field, my hacking at home and going to, you know, different lessons and the gallops and the beach, it's been really, really brilliant. So I can't, I can't really complain. It has been really, really good. Um, yes, of course, it's lovely to have um, Yorina's home at home, but then maybe, maybe this is the reason why I started doing my insurance because like, I don't have like courses of jumps at home to use. I don't have stuff like that. So I have been doing loads of hacking and I've been very good. At, I've been getting very good at my hacking, my lady of leisure hacking. So maybe this is why I'm doing my endurance. You know, it's funny how things like work out. Maybe this is just my wee period of time where maybe I'll be an endurance rider for a while. And then maybe as time changes, I could go back to jumping or I could go back to dressage. I don't know. I am just not very competitive at the moment whatsoever. And I'm just enjoying time with my horse so much without the competitive side of it. Um, but that's maybe something I could talk about another time. Um, cause yeah, it's very interesting how once you get away from competitions, um, how your point of view changes. But yeah, maybe that's for another time. But I'm trying to think what else do I have? We have had our saddle checked from Sam from Chunky Monkey Saddles. Had the saddle checked. I'd really love to look into maybe getting her a numna with maybe a little bit of padding into it. Um, I know if a saddle fits well, you don't want to be putting a really thick numna underneath it just in case it hinders the fit of the saddle. I don't want to be doing that, so I think I'm gonna go talk to um a saddler about that. I have a little chat maybe with the saddler about um what numbness I can use. And I don't know if you've seen my post on Instagram about nose bands. I've like taken my nose band off. And I think I'm just gonna go with that. And it's not wear nose bands because like mine's you mine's no use to me because it's so loose. So I think I'm just gonna like leave it off, not put it on. So it's like one less thing on her face for going around on this ride. Because I remember last year it rained the whole time I did the ride. And there must have been a bit of dirt in her nose band and because it rained the dirt then went onto her nose and there was this big black patch under like her nose band for this year i'm just not gonna have one um and yeah we've got our hoof boots that we're gonna wear um i don't know if i'm gonna wear them for the full time in the ride i think i might put them on like halfway through where i know there's like a little stony area coming up and then I can take them off at the next checkpoint because you have checkpoints throughout the ride where Mum and Siobhan are going to meet me there with like food for me, food for Callie and um, water uh, and to check that we're all okay and they'll drive around as I'm riding around and you know are like my wee support team so um, if I need to I can have them have the boots at the ready, I can put them on, take them off where I need to and so I have a vlog all about my Easy Boot Glove Soft if you're interested in that, there's a vlog I did on that a while ago um, and yeah her feeds as well, I have Callie like on a really natural sort of uh, feed, she gets turned out throughout the day, she comes in at night time, she gets one hay net soaked um, cause I had little, uh, I had issues before with her like coughing on dusty hay. So I soak her hay and she hasn't been coughing. That's fine. Um, she gets grass pellets, um, and like just a tiny little cup and half a boiling, uh, kettle, half a water, oh, half a kettle of boiling water, um, into her food and then I have different herbs and stuff that I've made up that I add to her feed to make sure she's getting all the vitamins and the minerals she needs. I've been giving her extra salt because she's been sweating a lot more and I have been getting her extra biotin. She does get rose hips with her little um, mixture or the concoction I've made of herbs and stuff. She does get rose hips in that to help with her coat and her feet but I just wanted to up 
the levels of biotin and I went and bought like I think it's omega biotin so she gets three scoops of that a day um, and to give her more energy I have just added some oil to her feed like I don't want I don't like feeding grain and stuff like that there and I don't like the idea of like let's say for an example like pumping her filled with oats and she's an upset stomach because of it she has so much energy she's like this mad thing that I can't control and it's, it's I want her to be on like a really natural natural diet for her stomach for her head for her body and then have her strength and her fitness just through the work and the training that I do so um it's not like she's buzzing with energy but her heart's under strain and she's not fit enough to do it it's just the food that's sending her that way do you know what I mean I'm not a nutritionist but I just think the more natural sort of the better and I've looked into things and that's just how I like to do it. So um, yeah, I could go into it, but I think I would need literally like another vlog to talk about that. Um, and I'm trying to think what else do we have to talk about? Oh yes, I had, if you have me on Instagram, keep going back to Instagram, I put up a video recently of Callie was struggling with one of her stretches. So like I have had her at the chiropractor, she's had some adjustments done, I've been following that up. Sorry my phone just cut off. So as I was saying, yeah we've had Callie at the chiropractor, I'm a massage therapist so I've been able to massage her alongside that, that has been amazing because horses aren't like designed to carry us, they're not. And I'm asking a lot of her body to take me around this ride and getting a chiropractic session or getting a massage it's not like a treat, it's like a necessity, it, ha it has to be done, she's an athlete and I think another thing that we forget about a lot when we're riding our horses is like we're athletes too, so like we need to be fit. So I've been trying to do a bit of keep fit, not an awful lot, I have been, I'm getting my chiropractic session done this week. Um, probably should book myself into a massage too. I need to get better at like looking after myself. I need to look after myself as well as I look after Callie, then we'd be laughing. Um, Actually, a funny thing, her herbs that she gets, I actually drink it as a tea for myself. Um, so that's quite interesting to know. Um, and yeah, I'm trying to think if I covered everything. I t I've done a lot of talking, um, but just fingers crossed we've done enough um when I was at the beach there um for my last ride um Callie felt so amazing like it was unbelievable um she was just forward thinking the whole time um if I kicked her up into a trot she just consistently trotted um until I asked her to canter or to come back to walk if we were cantering she was just canter 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 even after we did the 16 kilometers, she like spotted something in the distance and was like, are we gonna go after that? Can we go again? And I was like, ah, I, I don't think I've ever had her so fit. And she looks, she just looks amazing as well. So we have one more week to go. I would like to look into getting maybe a different sort of numna to make it more comfortable for her. Um, I would like a little uh, short stick. Do you like a wee jockey stick? and I need to save up more milk bottles and um, I need to trial my feed that I have for Callie, the grass nuts. You can add loads of water to them and make it into like, um, like, a, like a mashy water and um, so it's like a, a green water pretty much so it's like it's diluting juice. <laughs> Of grass pellets so it goes green and it's uh, will encourage her to drink so I need a trial and error with that there and um, do loads of stretching with her this week and slow it all down um, get her energy saved up because my fitness work now really should be all done like we've one week to go our fitness should be up there now it's just to get ready for the ride take it easy it's in six days time and that's all I can think about. I'm so excited but at the same time I've got so much going on and trying to remember everything. 
I need to get my chiropractic session done this week and yeah just need to make sure everything is organized all under control I hope I'm not forgetting about anything that I want to talk about but um yeah so we will just see so thank you for watching if you have made it this far this is really new to me um if there's anybody out there who'd like to give me some endurance advice um i'm all ears i'm all ears thank you all for watching i am so excited to do this vlog next week this ride i hope i can record it all for you and bring these along with me please follow me on my other social media platforms it really helps me out um, if you like what you see, give me a wee like, follow, share with your friends, and um, I'll talk to you all again very, very soon. Bye!